please start Cubemix. I will do in parallel with you. And we will use today Cubemix version 5.3. And we will start from LED blinking, nothing new. Okay. So this is the, the, the main uh, user interface. Uh, we, have, we have board. It is discovery board, so-called IoT board. So we, can, uh, so we need to start new project, of course, from access to board selector. We can start from the MCU, but let's speed up the things and start from uh, access to board selector by pressing. And if you would get some message uh, about connectivity, please, uh, to, the, to the server, please skip it. Just close it. And then we have the board selection uh, window. And we can just enter IoT within the part number search bar. So just double click on the uh, board name. And now, again, this is not our focus to, to the Cubic MX itself. So please select initialize all peripherals. Yes. OK, now we can see the micro. We have uh, four tabs, pinout, configuration, clock configuration, project manager, and tools. Let's focus on the, on the pinout. We need to find a GPIO connected to the LED. And just remember the, the GPIO na name. So the first GPIO I can see is the LED2 connected to PB14 here. You can also enter here PB14 and it will start to blink. So we need to use the GPIO PB14 port GPIO B and GPIO 14. Okay, that's all. Then clock configuration. Uh, please do not touch. I just want to show you the, the, the complexity. And this is the, 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 the medium complexity of the clock tree. So the manual configuration is a nightmare. Uh, it is just, it is already pre-configured uh, to the maximum clock, 80 megahertz. That's all. Then, project manager. We need to put project name. Of course, you can put whatever you want. Then, You need to select project location. I would propose this location, AI hands-on, because we will use True Studio, and True Studio sometimes uh, doesn't accept long paths. Okay, so the project name, project location, and then our tool chain. Today, we will use free tool, it is True Studio. And please keep generate under uh, root selected. That's all. When you finished, you can press generate code. And then, okay, I will do. Okay, so we can see the, the message pop-up window. So, now I would propose to select open project. And on my PC, because I'm a supporter, I have a lot of tools, a lot of IDEs. I have no proper assignment to the True Studio project, so I need to open folder. But you can select open project. In case of problems, you can select, you can follow my way. So I'm opening folder. Yes, the project is present. Then 
we can switch to the True Studio. Okay, so on my PC, I need to go to the file, open project from file system, then directory, then C AI, then Hanson, then LED Blink Munich. Okay. We can unroll the project. So within the project inspector of True Studio, please unroll the, your project, Blinky project. Then go to the SRC folder and unroll, double click on main.c. And what's now? You can see a lot of sections with uh, inside the comments. User code begin something. User code end something. So this is the code automatically generated by Cubemix and it is allowed to put the user code only inside the section. Maybe allowed, is it allowed? It is wrong description. I would suggest <laughs> to put the user code inside the section. Otherwise, during regeneration, the code will be deleted. So we need to put the code inside the section. And let's go to the section number, user code section number three. It is line number 123, as I remember well. Ah, uh, 20, 20, 28. Here. It is inside the main loop. <sighs> Be careful here, because we have two sections here. User code begin while and while. There is a forbidden space and then user section number three. So the, 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 the most often uh, mistake of the green ones uh, with Cubemix is to put user code here. We know about this hint, so we will put the code here. So let's toggle the GPIO. Each function of the HAL library starts with the HAL header. Then there is the name of the resource of the peripheral, GPIO. Then there is an action. You can also use control space. I will show you again. HAL GPIO underscore toggle we know that we need to toggle and then we can press, we can keep control and then press space. Do you remember the, uh, the port, the port, which port we need to use? GPIO B. So this is the first parameter. And the second parameter is the particular port, particular line of the port number. GPIO pin 14. That's all or not. We need to toggle LED inside the main loop. That's all, but, but due to uh, our own neural network, we have a small latency. That's why we need delay. And this is the HAL function for delay. Uh, it, it is based on the cystic timer. Ah, sorry. 
Thank you. It is based on cystic timer and the resolution is in uh, it's one millisecond. So I, I can put five milliseconds, but of course the, the, the delay is up to you. And that's all. We can take a hammer and build the project. But before I will show you a hint how to speed up the building process. P please highlight the project name, then right click properties and see C build. I will show you again. Highlight the project name, right click properties. C, C++ build, behavior, enable parallel build. And we will use all of the cores of our MPU. What is the problem with this setting? What could be the problem with this setting? Your IT administrator could kill you if you are compiling remotely <laughs> because you can block the server d for the for the building process so be careful but today we can use it apply okay and then take a hammer It is built. You can see the. Uh, I cannot see because I have resolution problem. But the 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 resources usage. Okay, so we have almost uh, four kilobits, four kilobytes of the of the flash footprint. So this is the disadvantage of HAL but the, 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 the footprint size, but on the other side we have portability, we have very nice code to analyze. It is, uh, we have some rules from Misra C, so I know we have automotive experts, so well-known standard. Uh, and we can easily jump into the new micro. So we can save a lot of time. Okay, so now we can download, we can flash our board. So please press the bug button here. And now probably all of you will get such a message. So we need to update the firmware of the Estelink debugger. So, okay. Yes. And then device connect. Okay. So here you can see that the, the, the board is flashed and you need to you need to see the the resume on or play button active, the green, then you can just terminate the session and the LED is blinking. We can close this project just to keep things clear. Uh, so please highlight the project name within the project inspector, then right click and then close project. <coughs> 